Have you ever had trouble finding a way to pass the time on a gloomy day? Maybe you had trouble finding a gift for a friend or a loved one. Or maybe you were sick and couldn't do much. Well, consider crafting. Welcome to Crafting for Everyone. I am your host, Jake Keeley, and I will introduce you to simple crafts that are fun for all ages, but are better when done with family and friends. One of my favorite crafts to make is putting a photo on canvas. It's as easy as following a few simple steps. You're gonna roll up your sleeves. <laughs> you know you're gonna get messy, right? Yeah. So we have the picture with the canvas, brush, and the water blaze glue and sealer. And we're gonna put it all on the canvas and then put this picture on there, right? Right? You're gonna help me do that? I do it. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna keep lining it up and making sure that we're not cutting anyone's head off. And making sure that most of the paper or most of the picture is on the center, right? Alright, so can you hand me the paintbrush, Aiden? Step. Thank you! <sighs> Alright, okay, here's the brush and then I just need you to paint all of the canvas. Make sure to keep it on the canvas as best you can, okay? Whoa. Whoa. And brush. And this. Yep. Brush. Looks good. Remember to cover all of the canvas. And try to get even. Do you want me to turn it for you so you can get the other side? Okay. I'm gonna hold the bottom so it doesn't move. Do the corners over here, and there's a big spot down here, too. Good job. Right, and then this top part up here. Alright, so you're gonna grab that picture. You're already getting ahead of me. Alright, we're gonna. What are we doing? We're setting it down onto the canvas. Be very careful. Because once the canvas sets down, you can only move it a little bit. So let's bring this down. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Just really gently on the paper. See those little air bubbles that are coming out? And just kind of push them out. Don't rub too hard. Just kind of push them out a little bit. So we want to try to get it as flat as possible. Okay, that's good, right? Okay. Cool. So that's part done. Yeah, I can finish this for you. We're just gonna hang this up to dry. That came out great. 
I think I'm going to put some more family photos on canvas. But the trickiest part is getting the bubbles out. But it still looks good even if you don't. Uh, now for the next a craft to do instantly, I'm going to show you how to make some slime a few ways first. First with glue, baking soda, and contact solution. So I'm going to take some glue. If you don't have colored glue, you can dye the glue with just regular food dye. So a little bit of baking soda and some contact solution. And then mix it together. You can add more baking soda if you need more. And add a little more contact solution. And then it comes out as slime. Now to make the fluffier slime, uh, it's the similar to the first recipe, but you're going to add shaving cream instead of the baking soda. more contact solution. Slime comes out much fluffier than the first one. To make the next, so you, as you can see, it definitely comes out much fluffier. Uh, a much more classic craft is uh, a much more classic craft is stitching and can be very relaxing, but it all starts with a pattern first. Aiden, I finished the stencil. Do you want to come and help me cross stitch? Yeah. See? We're I know it. We're gonna we're gonna cross stitch the little bird. I know what we're gonna, you mean. I know what gonna, you mean. Okay. Yeah, we've done this before, right? Yeah. 
we, we made our little lizard ones, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be almost the same, but it's, a, it's just a little bird. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I do it? Can I do it? Okay, I'm gonna put it through the hole. And... Right there? Okay. See? Looks beautiful. Thank you. I'm just making little excess because this is the cross stitch. Mm -hmm. It's just little excess. And since we stenciled it, so they're already there. We just go through it with the needle and thread. So that makes it easy. And we're done with the little face. See? Now we're gonna continue with the little eyebrow and then the little eyes. And then these parts. Yeah, those parts. Careful and with then the, the mouth. And then the little mouth. It's, I think it's a little beak. It's a beak. Uh huh. We're making a straight line stitch and then pulling it out halfway. Then following the stencil line and then we do it again put it through making the same stitch pulling it out halfway so we can make a curved line and then we make it the same straight line stitch pulling it out halfway And the eye is completed. Now we're gonna work on in the next one. Um, the face is looking very good, Grandma. Thank you. You're welcome. The mouth is. Uh, the same stitch as the eyebrow and the eye. Uh, we're done with the little face. See, we're done with his eyes and his little beak. Now we're gonna do that little body. See? Kid. Need help. Aiden, we're gonna be making the tail now. the stitch to the one before the straight the straight line and taking it halfway out Can I do that? yes be very careful grab it from here thank you yes. thank you thank you Aiden
See, Aiden, we finished the birdie's body, so now we're gonna change the thread to green and we're making the branch the birdie's sitting with. Cool. And to avoid the little feet, we're gonna stop right here. The feet are this parts right here. So we're gonna put it through here and take it out through here. And then we'll do this part of the little branch and then we'll continue from the little feet towards this way. And then we'll stop here and then we'll do this part of the branch. And now we're done with the branch and now we're switched to the thread of orange color to make his little feet. You're done! And we're done with the little bird. What do you think? Good. Isn't it cute? Yeah. There are many ways to display the finished picture. And I find placing them in a frame is the simplest. Another classic craft to make is a snowflake. And for this, all you need is some paper and some scissors. The craft is especially great for younger kids to get used to handling scissors. Uh, you just take a sheet of paper and you're gonna fold it in half three times and cut any shape you desire, but don't cut through the seam or else it'll fall apart when you unfold it. So the design you cut is completely up to you. So, and then you just unfold it, and you have your pattern repeated. When you're done cutting, you just unfold it to see the finished snowflake. Do you like coloring with crayons? 
If so, you will enjoy melting them like I do and making all sorts of pictures with them. Here's how. So we're gonna line up our crayons. Yeah! And put them, yep, just like that. Good job. Line up in any order you want the colors to drip down because we're gonna melt these crayons onto the canvas. And I put um, my um, my um, tape onto my crayons, right? Right, when it's time to tape them. And make sure you put them nice and close together like this. So that when we tape them, that they're but going they all over the place. Flatten them out just a little bit <coughs> so they're nice together like that. And then now we're going to tape them down. You can do this part, right? So let me, wait, wait, yours is already lined up. Let's see. How long do we need to tape? Uh, that long? This long. Okay. So cut it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we're going to tape Okay, next, I'm gonna use the heat gun to melt the crayons, so I'm just gonna have you go to the other room while I do that, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. I don't burn the bristles on the top end and so I can get some cool marbling out of those different colors. Those are really cool colors you chose. What does it kind of look like? Rainbow. <laughs> it looks kind of like a rainbow. Yeah. Mine looks like kind of like a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. I like it. Well, thanks for crafting with me, buddy. It was really fun. Really appreciate your time. Did you like doing this? Yeah? Yeah, I love the milk food. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Love you. Ooh, grand the milk. 
These pictures are always fun to make and are the perfect gift to give a friend. Don't be scared to try crafts. There are so many kinds out there that you will find one that suits you the best. I'm Jake Keeley and get crafting everyone.